This tiny model of Rodin's thinker was 3D printed using light, materialized in a cylinder of liquid resin. Conventional 3D printers deposit material layer by layer, gradually building up the structure. But this new approach, developed by researchers in California, materializes entire objects at once. The researchers that created the machine, nicknamed the replicator, were inspired by CT scanners. During a CT scan, two-dimensional X-ray images are taken of a patient from many different angles. These slices are then reconstructed to form a 3D model. Well, the researchers thought, why not run the process in reverse? They used a program to reverse engineer 2D images from many angles around a 3D model, in this case, the thinker. Then they could composite all the slices into a video sequence. Next, they filled a cylinder with a synthetic resin, which solidifies in contact with certain intensities of light. By projecting the video onto the cylinder and rotating the cylinder in time, the slices are reconstructed in the resin as it solidifies. After about two minutes, the thinker is born. The waste liquid can then be washed away, leaving only the printed object. The researchers have printed more than just the thinker. They hope that this technique could one day be used to create bespoke medical pieces, like this replica of a jaw. As the process relies on solidification rather than deposition of materials, it allows objects to be printed which enclose existing ones, like the handle of this screwdriver. The surface is also completely smooth, which is helpful when manufacturing optical parts. At the moment, the machine is limited to centimetre scale objects, and there's some work to do to finesse the forms. But this is a totally new way to 3D print, and it's one which offers some interesting possibilities.